up against the Renogy MPPT solar DC to DC charger. Now these aren't exact matches and it, there are differences. Yes, we know that. But this demonstration is to help you decide on which system you would want for your RV and your boondocking adventures. Now we have the Sterling 60 amp battery to battery charger equipped on our RV. And this one's equipped with that Renogy 50 amp MPPT DC and solar charge controller and it's connected to the Ford. Now we do have on our Chevy, we do have our high output Mechman alternator. The Ford is factory. This is a 10 amp difference in rating. We're rated at 60, this one's rated at 50. We've never seen 60 out of our battery to battery charger. We're lucky if we see 45. But we're gonna turn them on. We're gonna see what we're gonna get out of each of them and hopefully it helps you decide what you want for your boondocking adventures. As far as pricing goes, this is what the Sterling cost. And this is what the Renogy cost. We are not going to talk about the Anderson connectors, the wiring, those will vary from install to install. These are just the module prices. Let's start the trucks and see what we got. And as far as solar on the roof, Lauren's family has 400 watts of solar on their travel trailer. And we have 495 watts on our fifth wheel, putting us within 95 watts of each other. So for a fair comparison, we're going to do this at the exact same time because, well, the sun's in the same spot and our systems are, are running. So I don't want to wait 10 minutes for the sun to be a little further away or further down in the sky. So Lauren's dad's going to start his truck. I'm going to start our truck and we're going to see where this goes. Get your meters ready. Starting. Okay. Now this is not going to be an exact um, comparison. They have lead acid batteries, we have lithium batteries. What we're trying to show is the output to the batteries. They're at a different percentage, we're at a different percentage. And all we're trying to show is the solar input plus the DC to DC input and what that equals that you can charge your house batteries with. So minus battery type, minus loss of in the line all we're looking at is total amps to your house batteries how's you looking over here total amps to my house battery right now are 30.39 where do we start at uh, around 15 I think oh wow quite a difference I'm gonna check in the Lauren so Lauren watching the Midnight Solar Kit menu. How many amps are you putting in the batteries? 50.8. We started at seven and a half before the Sterling turned on. Okay. So about 43 amps from the Sterling. 43 amps from the Sterling. Well, sounds good. There you have it. So our system's a little different. We have the solar kid charge controller and the Sterling modules, and they're adding power together and putting it into our house batteries. Their system's a little different. They have that one simple, nice module that they can wire to. And again, it's taking power from the solar, power from their alternator, and combining it and putting it to their house batteries. They're running a factory alternator. We're running an aftermarket Mechman alternator.